MJ, thanks for sitting down with us. We know that you joined Binibini Pilipinas three times before finally winning your role as Miss Universe Philippines. What have you learned in those years? It made me realize that in life, you, you can't just always be on top. There are highs and lows in life, and you should accept that. Sometimes you can, you can fail, sometimes you'll succeed, but learn to be humble no matter where, where you are. So I think those are just some of the things that I learned from joining from the first try to the second to the finally um, really winning it on the third try. You and Shamsi Soup Soup, who was third runner-up at Miss Universe 2011, are really good friends. What have you learned from her? She had shared a lot. Even before, when she was competing, we'd always talk over the Skype, and she would tell me her experiences in Brazil. And now it's more, it's more into details of what really, how really to prepare for the Miss Universe pageant. And she would always joke on me that, You've been ready ever since. Ever since I met you, you're ready. And just, you just have to relax and don't forget to enjoy because pressure might, might get into you. What are you looking forward to as you go on to the finals? Well, it's going to be because I'm a person who really loves to travel. It's going to be amazing to have a, lo uh, a friend in each country. <laughs> Imagine we, there's going to be more than 80 girls and if I can make friends with everybody and then I can travel to each and every country that, you know, that it's going to be represented in Miss Universe, then it's going to be amazing for me because it's really different when you have a local friend from a country that you're visiting. What can you say about the relevance of beauty pageants today? Well, beauty pageants will always be relevant in the community. As uh, you know, we're humans, we would always appreciate beauty, and beauty inspires. As we go into the final stages, is there anything you would like to tell your supporters? I would like to thank them for not leaving me because the pageant has been moved and moved, but it just made them more excited, and now they're more excited than ever. And I would just like to ask them to continue supporting um, our representative, the country, our country. Because without them, we're nothing. Without, without the prayers, I am nothing. I, can't, I cannot do this alone. And I am grateful that they're making me even more confident to be on that stage because I know that they are there behind me. <laughs>